Alright everyone, how you guys doing? Welcome to Apple Weekly number 68. We are approaching a century, almost. This is of course the show where I cover everything Apple, both on YouTube and iTunes. Give you my feedback on all the Apple coverage over the past week or month and hopefully get some of feedback from you guys or some debates or some abuse as some of you kindly leave in the comments below. The show is sponsored by Flyers.com. Excellent slippers for your magic mouse. Go and check it out. $10 and they've got a worldwide program where you can send it back in and you can get a brand new one should anything go wrong. The first story of this week is, which got me really excited and I have to have this towel here beside me. I just could not resist and do this video with not having this towel. VLC Player have released an update to the Retina MacBook Pros where if you're watching a video you can get Retina quality. Well hey, so it's a bit like Blu-ray for the MacBook Pro Retina which is amazing and for some of you it, uh, it's probably going to add that value proposition right there for some websites, for, for some certain films and uh, it's going to add some extra bit of juice which you may or may not require another load of these but it's good news and hopefully come next year or heck come the IMAX even although some of you last week said hey it's not really physically possible to have a retina in an iMac because the screen's too big and number of pixels and so on um, anything is possible with Apple I know certainly going from the iMac to the Retina MacBook Pro it's just not the same not the same I can say uh, so fingers crossed come this month July come the Mountain Lion release date we'll see a new iMac Next up, bit of sad news, Bob Mansfield, who was the guy kind of behind, you've probably seen him in videos for the new Retina MacBook Pro, or the iPad, or the iPhone, the MacBook Airs, he was featured in them, he was even been on the stage at a couple of keynotes, and he was the guy who kind of really got, or partnered up with Johnny Ive, and they really took care of the design, the hardware, and sadly, he is retiring with all the money which he kind of stocked up last year, the YouTube monies, not that they had anything to do with YouTube, but I just kind of came in my mind. But he's retiring, and the person that's taken over him is Dan Rico, who is the iPad hardware guy. Until they probably find a replacement, or if you know they are downsizing, because we know Apple is uh, losing a lot of money. They don't have money, just a couple of billion in the bank. So why hire a new person? At the end of the day, it really is kind of a tough job, as is any job. Uh, you know, with Antenna Gate really bad PR and design issue or whatever the issue was and Mark Papermaster when he left and now uh, Bob Mantle got a really good kind of exit Apple wrote up a PR you know release and gave him some kind words and so on which they didn't do with the last two so all the best to him next up let's talk about Google why not first up Chrome OS for iOS devices OMG literally OMG how good is it I've been using it since it was announced, it's a free application, go get it, there's no more point in me talking about it. Um, this is something alternative to Safari uh, and I like how it kind of does rendering and or you know loading up websites in the background um, and you know it has a nice, kind of gives it a new change and hopefully uh, you know competition is always good because in a Safari when come the next iteration in iOS 6 they have to be you know on par with Chrome OS or do something even better um, Safari has mained or had the largest market share uh, when it comes to browsing on iOS devices uh, very surprised to see uh, you know Chrome make its way into the App Store um, and it's good it's a change I mean, I'm liking it what are your thoughts on it also, Google announced its Nexus tablet, which I must say looks absolutely great. And one amazing thing about it is the price point. So it's got double the storage than uh, an iPod Touch, yet it's less expensive and it's got worldwide availability. One of the annoying things I find about Microsoft stuff is they have these keynotes, but it's only available in 15 stores in the United States there's no other way to get a hold of it and it's pretty much the same with these other manufacturers as well I like how Google kind of do, similar to what Apple do, a worldwide launch um, pricing availability and it looks nice I'm going to be getting my hands on it 
and I think the size for me a tablet has to be something that you can easily hold in one hand uh, and use all the time I haven't touched it I've only seen what I've seen on screen on the demo uh, but people are saying good things about it Joshua Topolsky from The Verge said it's definitely one of the best um, tablet devices he's had or something along those lines correct me if I'm wrong it's also running a Jelly Bean software which makes me come on to Siri versus Google search so Google have done something similar it's kind of like Siri you can ask it questions you know what is the weather and so on and it responds and from the comparison video I've seen uh, there's a huge difference <laughs> Google search is way better it's more responsive it's less robotic one of the things I don't like about Siri is it's too much of a robot whereas Google search just seems to be a bit more natural a bit more accurate more day-to-day -day stuff I've yet of course to try it out with my own accent or see someone with a Glaswegian accent to mess about with it but fingers crossed I hope it works with most accents Siri still in beta still a nightmare to use uh, I just hope Google have got the upper hand and hopefully by when, whenever iOS 6 is out Siri is more polished off but right now as it stands to date Google search in my opinion has the upper hand. Staying on Google, for those of you who have just bought a new MacBook Air 2012 or any of the MacBook Pro 2012s, there is a problem with Chrome on them. Google is looking into it and they are aware it's a problem. Basically it stalls your machine, the computer hangs up and the only way to resolve it is by pressing reset. So use Safari for the meantime. The issue basically relates to the new graphics card, the Intel HD 4000 conflicting with some internal uh, software coding. Hopefully a bug fix is around the corner. And last but not least, there's a delay on the Retina MacBook Pros, as we all know, since they were launched. But some customers, enterprise or corporate customers who made a purchase on the actual day of the keynote are reporting Apple have just written to them and said, hey, we're going to add another meaty three to four weeks for your purchase for no given reason. That was pretty much it. All these customers who contacted, you know, the likes of Mac Rumors and 9to5Mac, um, these customers have upgraded their storage from 256 or 512 to the highest, which is 768. Not too sure about if other customers were affected, and if you are, you can leave it in the comments below. There really is no precise detail as to why there is a delay. Uh, could it be that they're just trying to fix the initial batch where there's been a few issues with machines crashing? I know some have been having issues or is it generally because of demand they can't make enough which probably is going to be part of the case um, so yeah it's not good news for those who are business customers waiting for these machines and being have told you know uh, three to four weeks have just been added on just like that but guys that is it really for apple weekly i hope you liked it if you have any questions comments things to add you can always do so in the comments below or if you are magical and watching this on iTunes, you can leave it in the comments below. I will see you in the next video. Be sure to check me out on twitter.com slash i6lastwagian. By checking me out, I mean you can ask questions on Twitter. Facebook.com slash iglasswagian. Heck, just go on to iglasswagian.com and all my social media links are there. See you in the next video. Whether Cheers. it be an iPhone, a Nokia, HTC Samsung Heck, any smartphone on the market, it's compatible with our garments. There is indeed a pocket for this and a pocket for that. You can buy it today at iGear.com Be sure to follow us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. You never know, you might be the next one to get in on our free giveaway.